How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and today I'm going to give you a brief rundown on how to manually install mods in Civilization 6. So first off, you'll likely find a mod on a website such as Civ Fanatics that you want to download and install for Civilization 6. The process is relatively straightforward and simple. First, download the file, then check your downloads folder or wherever the default is that you saved that downloaded file to. It'll most likely be a compressed file, so make sure that you can unzip it. For example, with regular zip compression, you can simply right click it and choose to extract all, select a destination and choose to extract them. And as you can see, if you look at the original folder, you'll see that in the downloads folder next to the zip file is now a regular folder. And inside that are the needed files for the mod. So cut that folder or copy it and then navigate to your documents folder and inside your documents folder you'll see a folder called my games and inside that folder will be a folder called Sid Meier's Civilization 6. Inside that folder look for a folder called mods and open it up. You'll see most likely no mods if you haven't installed any yet. I have installed a couple of them but I'm going to in install this one as well. So I'm simply going to paste that file or that folder that I extracted in the downloads and now we're going to double check to make sure everything is okay here. Yes. So once you've got that pasted in you'll want to launch Civilization 6 and you have to keep in mind that by default you cannot enable mods on games that you have already started without a mod. So if you want to to do some sort of graphical user interface tweak or whatnot, you're going to actually have to delve a little bit deeper and most likely the mods that do that will give you the instructions on how to. So this method is mostly just for your plain run of the mill mods that are mostly involved with affecting actual gameplay mechanics. In other words, they'll not simply tweak the user interface or any sort of graphical options. So with that out of the way, once the game is launched, go to additional content and now we can find the mod that I just installed. Click enable and go back and now we can start a new game, create a game. Just randomize all that and start the game. And once this finishes, I'm going to exit out of it or I'm going to save the game, exit out of it. And then we're going to take a look at the game save and you'll be able to see the mod pop up for it. Okay, single player, load game. And right here is our most recent one. Uh, that I have a, a mod enabled for it. You can look at it and right there you can see unit report screen is one of the mods enabled. And you'll notice other games such as this one does not, it's, it's missing certain mods and therefore I can't load it. But if we go down here and look at games that I had started without the mods, you'll see it does not include the mod in it. So if I load this version, this old game save, even though I have enabled the new this unit report screen mod that I just installed it will not appear in that older game because it was not a part of the original save and to my knowledge at the moment there is no easy way to change that aside from actually editing the base fi the base game files which pretty much goes outside the scope of this video. This was just a simple rundown on the default installation of mods in Civilization 6. Obviously, if and when the Firaxis introduces the workshop, that there will be like an easier way to manage mods. You can just manage it right through Steam, but there will always be the option to manually install mods in Civilization 6, and that's essentially how this works right here. At the moment, when I made this video, uh, the workshop for Civilization 6 has not launched yet, so that is why I'm not touching on it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this useful, and I also hope to see you next time.